David Mustang wrote, Hey guys, I love the show. My question is, how did James Bond become bigger than the actor who played him? Where it can be rebooted tons of times with different actors, and it's just a continuation in the saga. And what would stop Indiana Jones from being the same way? There are countless stories that could be made to further his character and keep him coming every few years. Well, the thing about Indiana Jones is nothing is stopping it, but the difference between Indiana Jones and the James Bond thing is that Indiana Jones has always been one guy, and for generations now has always been one guy. There are generations of film fans that know Indiana Jones as Harrison Ford. So it's a different situation. I'm not saying they can't do it with Indiana Jones. I think they can, but it's a different situation. With James Bond, I think it just became that by doing it. You know, they James Bond was a popular character. There was a series of books that it was based on. They could switch guys. They, you know, they did that with Batman not so long ago, where they were switching up Batman every couple of years. Like, who's the next? Who's next up at bat? I remember that was the big thing. Like after Val Kilmer came on, I was like, who's next? And then George Clooney, who's next? So <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. I think it was just time made the character bigger than the actor. But like to me, the character is always more important than the actor. But I think time made the character bigger than the actor. It's just, and, and I think we'll all feel fine. I love that graphic, by the way. I think in time, we're all <laughs> going to feel totally fine about a new Indiana Jones once it happens once. Once they make the change once, then we're all going to be more comfortable with it and be fine with it. I don't know. How do you guys see it? I think as soon as Roger Moore stepped on set the first day to make the, his first James Bond film, that all went out the window. And it's like, okay, now anybody can step in and play James Bond. I think Roger Moore is one of the best James Bond. I like his movies a lot. But that hasn't happened yet with Indiana Jones. And James Bond never had to deal with the internet yep. and deal with uh, yeah. fans participating on the conversation like it is now. Like, if they had done this with Indiana Jones in the late 90s, maybe it would have been a different situation. Or if River Phoenix, God rest his soul, hadn't passed away. And they're like, hey, you know what? Let's put River Phoenix as the new Indiana Jones. Maybe that would have been a different scenario, but now that we're in 2015 and everybody can let their opinion known, it's a different scenario than it used to be. And have Joaquin as a villain. Yeah, that was my point also. <laughs> I was going I was going with time with with the internet because when you had Roger Moore, they announced it, you saw the movie, you either accepted it or you didn't and the audiences did. If they didn't have movie shows, they were saying, "What do you think about Chris Pratt? What do you think about Bradley Cooper?" They didn't have like the, the all the websites. So, yeah, I but but that's not to say it can't work. I agree with you, John. It's like if, if let's say it's Chris Pratt, and he goes in there and he just crushes it, and he you, would. you accept him right away as I rather him as Nathan Drake, uh, but you have him, but you have him out there, and he crushes it, and everyone accepts him. Then he sets the bar now that you can eventually change it over because that's after four or five films. There's a new guy they want to try as Indiana Jones. Well, we've done it once before. Let's try it again. And you know, there are some bonds that didn't work. Um, so you know, I, hey, I, think I like George. Happen. <laughs> I also think it has to do with the international flavor of Bond. Um, it's mm. very global. It's very universal. That's something that Indiana Jones, while it might be loved by different countries, it's not the same thing. I mean, Fleming, you know, the UK, like, this is a very global event. So the character is larger than the actor. It's just kind of been the way it's been, you know, invented. Indiana Jones could be that way, but it's just, again, the players who have attacked the franchises very differently. So I think that international flavor and all the gadgetry and, and just shooting from all around the world just kind of gets everyone on board with it. Um, Batman, I mean, you're right, the internet, man, I'm so glad I didn't grow up with Facebook and all those things. <laughs> like, our kids are screwed in everything. such a harsher yeah. time. And well, you know what? For a long time, though, I, I said, and, and this conversation has made me want to go back on something, because I've said for a while that I am, a, everybody knows I'm a huge Chris Pratt fan, but I've also said, I don't know that I see him as a fit for Indiana Jones. Not every great actor is a great fit for every role, right? But now talking about James Bond here, you know, it made me realize one of the really interesting things about all these guys who've played James Bond is that they've all played their own James Bond. Mm -hmm. Roger Moore's James Bond is an infinitely different James Bond than George Lazenby's James yeah, Bond was, which was infinitely different than Sean Connery's James Bond, which was a different James Bond from Timothy Dalton's James Bond, and ultimately, I mean, Daniel Craig's. So why not have a Chris Pratt come in and make his own Indiana Jones? And when George Lucas and Spielberg came up with the character of Indiana Jones, it was, hey, I have a version of, of a James Bond type movie. They, they, wanna, they always wanted to craft a series like James Bond. Right. So, with a hat and a whip. All that stuff, yeah. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.